Hey, what's up guys? It's Kyle from RR Buildings and I'm coming at you with something that people have asked me and that is how do you use a grade stick and how does it help you out on the job site? And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you real quickly a couple little tips and tricks on how to utilize the grade stick to make quick and easy accurate um, measurements on your grade or whatever project you're working with. This will be applicable across many different trades. So most grade sticks are gonna have this zero on them and that is where you want to zero your laser at. So what I'm gonna do is this right here, this threshold on the door is my, um, that's what I am using as my reference point to build our structure and find our finished floor because we want the same finished floor in our garage as we do in the house. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set the grade stick laser right at zero. We're gonna tighten that down. Now I'm gonna set this right on the threshold. And I'm gonna lock that in. Now what that means is wherever I get that solid ding, this is gonna be the grade of the finished floor in the house. Now when I go out here, I'm actually determining the grade of our project, which is four inches below finished concrete. So what that means is I need to figure out how do I make this zero back out at negative four inches from this. So bear with me, we're gonna actually reset this at plus four. Now what that's gonna do is when I get that solid tone on this laser at this threshold, it's going to actually zero back out at minus four, we're setting it at plus four. I wanna be minus four. So when I go minus four, it's actually gonna be zero. And I'll show you why I'm bringing it back to zero by doing this technique. Okay, so now that I've got this zeroed at plus four, let's go back over to the building site and I'll show you why I did that. Now that we have the grade stick zeroed out at plus four, um, when I come over to the site, I want my reference point on all of our buildings is our grade and that is four inches below the finished concrete. So what I did was I put the grade stick at plus four on my reference point in the house and now I'm gonna bring it up to zero. So what that is doing is when I come, let me turn this off. Okay, so now when I bring this to my bracket, I'm actually at zero, I'm gonna move it. Sorry, my laser's over here, <laughs> not the camera. I'm gonna bring it till it tones out again. And now what I've got, is I'm one and seven eighths. Now when we set these sauna tubes, we want it to be six inches below finished floor, which means our grade is four inches below finished floor. So I was hoping that this was going to laser out somewhere around two inches. So that's really close to exactly where we want to be. But hopefully that helps somebody. The grade stick is your friend. Once you have determined your elevation and where you want your grade, set it at zero and make every reference point off of that uh, to make it a lot easier. That way you're not having to do math and you're not just randomly placing your laser on the stick to find your marks. This is a quick and dirty tip and I hope it helped somebody out there because I know for the longest time I didn't really understand how the grade stick worked and if you guys are looking for any other tips or tricks that I might have to share with you go ahead and drop them down below in the comments. Let me know if this helped you, if this was a worthy video to do or a waste of my time. So thank you again. Thank you again, and we'll see you guys on the next video. <laughs>